This is second part of Codeigniter 4 security and in this video we will discuss about Honeypot in Codeigniter 4 project. So the Honeypot is to check whether the request is coming from robot or a human. For example, if you have a login page and if you want to test if that request is coming by a user or by a robot then we will use the honeypot method so just open your code editor so first of all let's go inside the roots roots file and there is a login root so let's start our server so just type php space spark space so and open this url and go to the login root so this is our login page and we will use honeypot in this login form so we can block request from robots to prevent our website from spam so if we inspect this code and in our form we have a heading then an input field for email then another input field for na name and then save button that's it so just go inside your config directory inside the app directory then config and then go to the filters.php file and here inside the globals variable just uncomment the honeypot field in the before variable and also from the after variable so if we save this file and reload our web page and inspect our form again then you can see that there is one more field after the button so if we expand this field then there is a level which is fill this field and there is an another input field which have the name honeypot and this field is not visible here because its style is display none so this field is not visible to users this field will be visible to robots only so basically ro what robots do is robots fill all the available fields in the web page and then submit the form so then we can track if this field is filled which means this field is filled by a robot because this field is not visible to users so user can't fill this field so whenever the, this field is not empty then coordinator 4 will crash the web page for example if i input my name and email and save the web page then it's redirecting to my another page because in my controller the login form so go to views show form and here i am using action as student controller and accept data function so go to the student controller accept data function here i am just printing my name so to test if this honeypot is working pro properly what we can do is if we change this style from display none to block or if we hide this property if i remove this property then you can see this field is now visible here so if I write something like ABC and click on this button then we will get an exception which is honey port exception which is thrown by Codeigniter 4. So this is how we can use honey port inside Codeigniter 4. So we don't have to do anything in Codeigniter 4. We have to just uncomment the honey port inside the config file which is filters and just uncomment the honeypot from before and after variables 
and you are good to go you don't have to handle all these functionalities coordinator 4 will do this automatically thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends as well so i can create more valuable content for you follow us on other social media accounts as well links are in description of this video